Well, I either loosened it or I broke something. Please tell me I'm not gonna regret what I'm doing. That is crazy. With so many Model 3s and Ys on the road right now, I've kind of fallen in love with adding subtle but unique features to our Tesla. I mean, it sounds bad, but you know, I'm so pro, cool. so. If you're subscribed, you've already seen my install of these Alpha Rex taillights. They're brighter, safer, and give a sportier look to our Model 3. I'm topping off the sporty look with these brand new plug and play replacement LED projector headlights. I'm getting some help with today's install. I guess we can just kind of tackle it from both yeah. ends, right? Yeah. <laughs> She said. <laughs> <laughs> Too many, that's what she said. But if you're not the handy type, T Sport Lane does offer in house install in parts of the country and also has a network of recommended installers elsewhere. I'll link everything you need to know down below. The Alpha Rex LED projector headlights are definitely one of the more unique upgrades for your Model 3 and Y, providing a classy, modern touch without going overboard. The technology here, this is called reflector type headlights. This is a, kind of an older technology. This is an LED projector. So you have LED light source behind each one of these projectors. Not only does it look better, it actually serves a purpose and it will be brighter and safer. Kill the lights for a second. These are called hot spots. So I'm actually measuring the light output of the stock headlights right now. This is the Lux measurement. Here we go. So when we put the Alpha Rex lights on, you're gonna see a more distinct cutoff line where it drops. It's dropping so that you don't blind drivers on the other side of the road. Probably never really paid attention to I've that. I've never either. paid attention to any of this before, so this is fascinating to me. I'm so glad I have the expert here. Some fasteners under here. So we'll take those two 10 millimeter bolts out. Those two 10 millimeter bolts. Two more tens right here. And then we should be able to pull this entire plastic front panel completely out of the vehicle. And we'll have access to our headlight bolts. And all right. I love power tools now. Now that I've done it the hard way, I'm like, why? We're gonna unplug this right here. I feel like I'm breaking something. Oh. All righty. Here we go. You ever wondered what was under the hood? It almost just looks like a regular ice car for a second. You're like, oh, here's where all the guts are. All right, so are there any areas in here that I do not want to touch? Yeah, so general rule of thumb on electric vehicles, any orange cabling you see is going to be high voltage, so you definitely want to stay away from that. But we'll be nowhere near that. We're going to be working up here, so we have okay. nothing to worry about. There's a few plastic clips up the side here that clip in. So now we can kind of see behind there. Same thing all the way across the whole bottom edge of the bumper. All right, I need a little pillow now. See how it's loose now? So there's, yeah. that stud is sticking up through the bumper and we're just taking the nut off from the top side. Oh yeah, there you go. Unclip and we're gonna pull it back away from the car like that. <laughs> Should I be scared? No. This is why I'm doing this here, which obviously there are some people out there that can handle this type of install themselves, but I'm still kind of a novice. I'm learning. Someday I might be confident to do it myself, but the first time I'm going to be with the experts. I don't want to damage this. So now we can take our finger, pull this back, look up. There's three 10 millimeter bolts that go up from the bottom and fasten the bumper to the fender here. I just took out those bolts and look at this, it's loose. All right, gotta do the other side. So you can see this little piece kind of sits in here on the bumper. How am I gonna remember how to put it all back? Pay attention when you're taking it apart. <laughs> I got my stuff for you. Look at that. All right, I've got a wire over here. So this is the wiring harness for the bumper. It powers all the fog lights, sensors. What about my side? I just yanked it all out. There's only one. Okay, good. Yeah. Glad that you were on that side. This is the side, somewhere where it's not gonna get damaged. It's like the smile for my car. Wow. Beautiful. That's crazy. For someone who's never done this before, like he's like, oh yeah, you know, no big deal for me. 
This is crazy. This feels big now. Thanks to Sunday Lawn for sponsoring this portion of the video. Now, when it comes to EV mods, I'm pretty handy, but as you can see, when it comes to my lawn, I could definitely use some help. So one of our neighbors actually told us about Sunday Lawn and how it takes out all the guesswork about what you need to actually get a healthy looking lawn. And that's always been the intimidating part to me because I just didn't even know where to start. Sunday is a lawn subscription that sends tailored lawn care straight to your door. I enter my address and I get a satellite satellite image that analyzes my lawn coverage, the soil composition in my area, the climate, growth potential, and so on. Within a few seconds, I get specific ingredients tailored to my lawn type. Again, there's no guesswork, there's no harsh unwanted chemicals, and these nutrient pouches have zero pesticides, so I can feel good about it with my kids playing out in the yard. They send me these different nutrient pouches and treatments, so you just hook it up to a hose and spray it on your yard, it's that simple. Plus, if you've got any questions about your lawn, they give you a person you can contact, even text, to help you out along the way. I'm excited to track how my lawn does as we get into the spring months. Sunday Lawn is going to hook you up with 20% off of full year lawn plans. Just go to GetSunday.com slash Java and enter code Java20 for your discount. That's GetSunday.com slash Java and use code Java20 to get your 20% off discount. Now, how much should these vehicles vary, like between the Model 3 and the Model Y? Or are we gonna, is it gonna be similar or? So this should be the exact same process on the Model Y. <laughs> that actually came out a little easier than I thought. Oh, there, there that's it. Oh, I see. Okay. Ay, yay, yay. Sort of overwhelming at this point. You're like, oh, my car's totaled. No biggie. <laughs> so, what is all this stuff? So, that's going to power our LED daytime running light and the sequential turn signal. So, don't be scared. It's pretty easy. Those are just going to connect to the battery right there. We'll thread it through on these wires and over to the battery. How about, is that in all the way? It didn't snap. Yeah, it's locked in. It is, okay. We just have to go straight back so that that little piece goes in there. Mm -hmm. Loosen this nut and we'll just slide that wire. That's good. So the red's gonna go on this side with the positive terminal. The black's gonna go on this side. Oh yeah, oh look at that, wow. That's pretty cool. So on the left we have just our basic stock headlight and you can see it's kind of a fuzzy blend. And then on the right we have the new Alpha Rex headlights and look how crisp it is. The two down here. Whoa, there we go. I either loosened it or I broke something. Let's use my little one. Too bad, just a little bit involved. It's not, it's not too bad. Well, obviously, I had quite a bit of help. But um, every time I do one of these, I'm like, all right. Ah! I was just kidding. <laughs> Let's zip tie the wiring, oh, yeah. and then we'll do bumper. A test of my short-term memory. That just reminded me, we got fog lights too, and it'd be real easy to do them while the bumper's off. It's got that individual LED pod look, so it's really going to match the projectors. Cool. We've got one, two, three screws, and then our wire. There we go. All right. We need to take that out right there. Oh. Yep. Okay. There is my old fog light. The new one. This feels lighter. It does. <laughs> so that'll go to that. Okay. okay. There. there. Oh, okay, Right here. Let's go ahead and get this snapped into the headlight and to the fender right here. It's funny, after you do these mods, you think about panel gaps, totally different. These are gross. That's my least uh, 
I guess we can just kind of tackle it from both ends, right? Yeah. Um, that's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> Too many, that's what she said. Uh oh, I popped it out when I tried to put the other one in. And <laughs> oh, wait. Don't put those in yet, we gotta do the, the top bolts. So remember when we said don't forget to put these in first? Well guess what we did? We forgot to put them in. Nice and tight. Oh, looks so much better. Wow. I love it. Almost there. Uh oh, panel gap. <laughs> and we're done. All right, what do you guys think? I absolutely love this look. I think it's gorgeous. They do come in both a chrome finish and the black that I chose for our three. And right away, it's obvious that you have a dramatic improvement in the beam pattern and more intense hotspot and increased lumens. So you get better night vision and safety. See all like razor sharp yeah. and precise? You're not using the yeah, that, factory reflectors. You have a crystal clear razor sharp cutoff line. This is a more proper and traditional step. So this is for oncoming traffic. That's why it's lower. The hot spot is much more intense. You've got nice distribution. It's not just one splotch. I got 650 right here. And what was it before guys? 475-ish. 475 before. So that is more than 30% brighter and that is just the low beam. Really nice light distribution. Wow. You're not going to blind oncoming traffic. Yeah, it's so crisp. The install took me about two hours with help. If you're handy, you could probably do it by yourself over the weekend. But again, T Sportline does offer professional installs and also has a network of installers they can recommend. Check out the links in the description below. Now, this isn't a paid video by T Sportline and it's not sponsored by them, but if you do like any of these products, I do have affiliate links down below that get you a nice discount and also helps out this channel. Channel. Check out the links below and use code KIMJAVA50 to get 50% off the fog light kit when buying any Alpharex headlight or headlight kit combo. Let's hit it. No better way to test this thing out than a Tesla light show. Lastly, if you do want to trade your old headlights or tail lights back in, T Sport Lane does offer a trade in program that gets you another big discount. So we offer a trade in deal where you just literally pack them back up in the box, you send it back to us, we give you the label, and you end up getting $100 off your order. Oh, so that's you can great. keep your garage clutter free. Save a hundred bucks, they come back to us, we refurbish them, then they go back through the collision market. That's awesome. That's really cool. So you're recycling, you're getting a hundred dollars off, and you don't have to have all that clutter in your garage or your attic or wherever in your house. You just get it out. All right guys, if you've watched this far, you've probably enjoyed this video, so do drop a like, and be sure that you're subscribed because we've got lots of fun and informative EV content set to drop soon, and we'll catch you next time.